NFL, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Bills and the Patriots, next on EA Sports. It is time for football, as we welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Or should I say Dean Olson? Because tight end you doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current game right now. And Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple years, every single team, at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs, compete for Super Bowls, have a legitimate... set for football the crowd is definitely ready so are we off we go on ea sports now an opening past the 30 the buffalo offense set to go to work for the first time he'll be led by the big fella six foot five quarterback josh allen it's fair to say this season hasn't gotten off to the type of start they likely envisioned for themselves but it's still early a win here, it could go a long way towards changing the trajectory of this entire season. But what's going to make this even more difficult today, not only the worthy opponent that they face, but having to go on the road. Oh, what an inauspicious start. It's intercepted. And he's going to give his offense a short field to work with as they look for their first points of the game. An opening play call like that, Mike, has exactly one goal. Let's connect on something early and quiet this home crowd. But all they did was energize them. I mean, listen to this place after that interception. They're feeding into it. They're giving this offense extra momentum as they now take the field. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And taking the snaps, quarterback now in his third year in the league. He's coming off such a strong performance last week, Mike, where he did a little bit of everything. Throws for three touchdowns, ran for another but most importantly, leads his team to the big win. I'll tell you what, he has his eyes set on trying to do the same thing here over these next four quarters. And he'll get about five. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. They'll come up here on second down and five. Motioning him from the left side. He'll look to throw. He'll go right and find his running back. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Now they'll set up to throw. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. It's his third touchdown of the year. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. He's got it. And the Pats will take a 7-0 lead. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes a return from the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Bills offense ready to see the football for the second time. They had that pick on the opening drive that led to a touchdown. So 7-0 the deficit as they get the ball back. First and 10. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Throwing is Allen. That caught by Davis. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down. 
after a game of seven. Now the first carry for the younger Cook brother. This is James Cook. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time, but contact drawing the ball loose and forcing third down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. So the drive ends, and on comes Jordan Stout to kick it away. As he's on here to punt this one away. And this one's going to land out of bounds as the market inside the 20. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Wow, it wasn't for lack of effort. He tried every which way to elude the defense, but he was outnumbered. They finally got him down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of yards. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. And that won't help a lot. Manages a yard for that run. Third and long. Coming up. A gain of a yard brings up third and ten. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And he's open middle of the field. It is caught. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Now a run on first down. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now, faking the give. Ah, the pressure too much, and he goes down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Throwing now on third and long. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And that's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go, and he's forced to just throw it away. The Bills offense ready to take over once again. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and ten. That's over the middle to his tight end, Kincaid. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Allen. This is intercepted. saw it earlier, the defense on the quarterback with the earlier interception. Now, Greg, not only do they pick him, they turn it into a pick six. 
And Mike, the reality is this has just been a bad first half throwing the football. I mean, not only is it a second interception, but this time the defense gets their hands on the ball and they're able to take it all the way back for the pick six. Elliott on now for the PAT. He gets it to go, and the Patriots move out on top, 14 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Bills offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Big play there for the Bills. It's a gain of 34. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. First and 10 now from the 36. From the gun, Josh Allen. Going right back to Samuel, he's got it again. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Now Allen. He's going to take it into the end zone. It's a touchdown. There is a penalty marker down, but it looks like this one's going to hold up. That penalty is declined. Extra point drive, fourth cup. It's up and good. And the Bills are on the board. It's now 14 to 7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. From the six, here comes a return. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Patriots offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do, and man, the play-action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. Here's a third down and four. They'll look to throw. Open man, right side, he's got it. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. They'll send their tight end left. Back to throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. That pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. From the 50, he'll set up to throw. And he 
and he'll be brought down after a short pickup, but that is enough for a first down. Back to the air one more time. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll try again here, second and ten. They'll look to throw yet again. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Brooks. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Motioning him from the slot left. That Allen to throw on second down. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. He'll come up to third and three. He'll try and run here with Cook. again for the punt. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Patriots offense, ready to get back at it. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They send Jackson the tight end in motion. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He'll drop to throw. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And he's taken down up past the 35. A game there of 20. Good for a Patriots first down. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I continue in just a moment. He'll look to throw. He's gonna let this one go deep. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. What a big play there for New England. An even 40 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Set to go now on first and 10. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. It is brought 
in, in the end zone. Touchdown, New England. Greg, it's one of those, sometimes you got to feel like you know where the ball's going to go, and the defense knows it too, but it still ends up in that guy's hands for the touchdown. Absolutely, Mike. In these critical situations, like down here in the red zone, it's players, not plays. It doesn't matter what you draw up on the board. You say, okay, who's my best player? Put him in a good matchup, let him go win, and give him a chance. That's exactly what they do here, and I think we're going to see a lot of this the rest of the game. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down to the side of the 25-yard line. The Bills offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll begin with first and 10. Now it's Allen. He gets it to Samuel, left side. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Allen to throw. A pass caught right side by Coleman. And good yardage there after the catch to wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That's taken in, it's James Cook. Now a timeout, Buffalo. They're second as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. The Bills going to use their final timeout here. They stop it here with just under 40 seconds until halftime. Pass complete right side to Kincaid. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Throwing again, it's Allen. In trouble, down he goes. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup, to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense, immediately getting back on track. What do the coaches say? Just play the next play. That's exactly what they did. Third and one. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. And you can see him with the ball in the air there, Mike. He's kind of leaning. He's hoping that ball would come back. It ends up catching a piece of that upright, but he's able to get it to go through. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They will start it on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game. And we'll send you about a mile north of here to our studios in the Creative Village. Standing by the coach with our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started down at Hard Rock Stadium, an AFC East matchup with the Jets visiting Miami. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. From there, it's off to the land to check on the Browns at home in the dog pound. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. It's Jalen Hurts with a couple of touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they trail the visiting Lions in that one. Jared Goff has a touchdown pass.
These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. He'll start at the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. First and ten. The third quarter begins with a run. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Second and six. Back to the ground. He'll get it again. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. It's third down and six. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Oh, that swung out wide and intercepted. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. So we saw in the first half, Mike, they were willing to take some risks. It allowed them to build this halftime lead. Now the opposing sideline, they're looking to fight back. They're looking to cut that lead down. That's what that coverage seemed. It looked like they baited that quarterback to force that errant throw and lead to that turnover. Now it's their offense coming back on the field with a chance to cut this deficit. Allen, gonna give it to Cook. And the woes in the running game continue. They're gonna subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. From the gun, it's Allen. That is caught by the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. Touchdown, Bills. So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown, and Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. A carry for Cook, and he'll get in for the two-point conversion, and now the deficit is just a field goal. Not a real complicated breakdown needed here, Mike. In short yardage situations like that, if you have confidence in both your back and your offensive line, sometimes it's the simplest plays that have the best results. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Patriots offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. begin with a zone read the defense not fighting they stay at home stop the quarterback no gain on the play no gain on the play second and ten at the 30 yard line a run now on second down and this is going to make the play caller happy good run eight yards much more manageable third down coming up brings up third and one They send one of the tight ends in motion to the left. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. 
And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain of seven and a first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Slot man in motion right. It'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Here's third down and a few inches. You have a tight end motioning left here. They'll throw here on third and short. His fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give up the middle. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Now, faking the give. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Now they'll set up to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? Here's a design run. And he will take this into the end zone. What? Well, they were not hiding anything there. The quarterback takes off, and Greggy takes it the distance for the touchdown. And this was a run from the jump, Mike. There was no disguising anything. There was 10 guys blocking and one guy running, and in this case, it's the quarterback taking it in for six. Elliott, good on the extra point. And the Pats will extend this third quarter lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away the return starts from the fog nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line the visitors offense make their way out to take over once more the deficit is at 10 so an important drive forthcoming get started with first and 10 throw on the move is caught. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's Allen to throw. They'll set up the screen to Cook. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. From the gut, Josh Allen. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So, three quarters now in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Allen 
Jordan going to throw again. Quick throw, taken in. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. One more time going up top with Allen. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And he's going to have the Bills first down. Oh, they take a chance there on fourth and one. But it's a gain of three. And a new set of downs. They'll stick to the ground. And they'll take this down inside the 35. It's a pickup of 12. First down, Buffalo. They send him right out of the slot. Now Allen on first down. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll run here. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On first down, it's Allen. Quickly to the outside and complete. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, see some openings to the sideline and him and his receiver are able to connect and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down slot receiver headed right allen on third down and he's going to be taken down back at the 20 yard line Feels like they needed that set. This entire drive feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. He fields it at the 8. Oh, he's got room past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Another really nice throw right there. And as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. They send Jackson the tight end in motion. Right away, they'll set up to throw. To the right side here, passes caught. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll look to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Motion the slot man left. Play clock down to zero. That's going to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Still second down. Still second down. the ground after the penalty 
and they'll have it. Across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. A gain there of 10 yards. Good for a Patriots first down. Slot man in motion left. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Finds it out to the 35. And he'll be taken down. So, fresh out of the two-minute warning, they'll use another timeout on this side of it at 1.55. First down. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. They'll stick with him again. Face to run. Inside the 20. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Second and 11. Working from the shotgun, he'll hand this one off. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Makes it third and seven. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. Jake Elliott on for the field goal. A 28 yard attempt. So it's a win for the Patriots. And it'll be a long but happy flight home as they earn the victory here in London. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.